Right here I got this uh, 1911 22 again and we'll be shooting these Super X's high velocity see what it says twice the speed of sound 1300 feet per second I can see better with this than I can with the, uh, the dark than I can when it's sunny like that <laughs> So we're going to put the camera up here and right we're going to put them down near the bottom right there so you can see where they go hopefully we're going to zoom in and then you can see and I'll be standing back here that's about good okay bare spot right there Uh, it's called stout pipe. I hate that, then I can't find the ammo. So this time we get it stout piped again. There we go. So we only get eight rounds. See right through. I'm actually going through the same hole, sorry. Sorry about that. What I've been having trouble with, with that last magazine was, you have to grab these two pins there again, and flick it, like that. And see, it's still hanging down in there. See, there it comes up. See? By flicking it, you can get it up, and that's why it wasn't feeding. See? So now I'm going to take 10 paces back, turn around and shoot. So you see, that worked perfect that time, because I know what I'm doing that time. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. I don't really think, you know, what I think it is, it has to do with school sports, and there's only allowed to be one bully after you leave school, and that's the people that play basketball or football or something. Is that why that is, that you think that those, these 22s don't hurt you? Maybe it's a little bit of that, and you want to rape girls, and you figure like, oh, no, don't buy that gun, honey, because, you know why, you'll probably be able to shoot us. Could you see him laying in there in the hospital with ten of these things in him? Believe me, buddy, that hurts more than a bee sting. I don't think a bee could sting that. Now use, now use your head, please. Go like that, she's ready. We're going to shoot to the left of that uh, drain there, right on the corner. See, now we're going to block it. Now you can say, are you going to leave my house now? Because really, I don't know anybody with a living room that far apart. So don't be listening to those guys going, I'm shooting at 600 yards with my freak pistol because it's not practical for your training. You want to shoot, like, the distance, how far, the largest room, say, if you're in the living room, and that's the door, and they kick it down with that many bullets in them. They're really, they're not going to really come after you. See how I spread them out? You want to spread them out, because that way the pain, it, it will soak in, but not it, that instant. It'll take about 10, 15 seconds to a minute. But once, right about now, they're going to be in so much pain, they'll be, oh, man, probably dead. So, don't believe any of that stuff. I've seen a lot of people getting killed. It's no big deal. People die all the time. Just not when they're around me. Okay, you know what I learned out here today? I learned out here 
that uh, my boss, he wasn't kidding me, you know, making me work at night. He's, uh, I'm like, you know, I can't do this. Those bastards, I'm gonna run them over. They're all in my way. And he's like, you ain't gonna run nobody over. <laughs> Look at that. That was a perfect headshot. Ten in the head. I'm gonna reload now, right? Wasn't even aiming that time, I just pulled the trigger. But this thing stays on target so nice, you don't really need to. You'll get really good with it. You know, you can do that stuff with the James Bond bus. <laughs> and anyway, this is just like a man's toy. This is not like. Uh, say, uh, you know, a real self-defense 22. You might want to get something like one of those Rugers. They're really nice and compact. You can carry it in your purse. So this is basically, uh, you know, for you ladies that don't want to act all macho. See, that's what training means. It means get to know your gun, because right now it's not even going to work. If someone breaks in your house, like I said, the bullet's not coming up, so you have to do that. Get it up, because these are a little funky, these magazines. Failures to feed, which it probably will again. Nope, it didn't. I'm going to shoot across the top and the and the bottom. And um, you put two in the top, two in the bottom. If they don't leave, then you just keep doing that. Two in the top, two in the bottom. shot inside the drain. If the one is a little aggressive, okay, like this guy coming in the back, you know, like Tuco. That's that guy in the bottom corner, left corner, watch. Okay. I got him. So, uh, pretty well cleaned that up. I have to get one right on the top. Perfect, you know. Spread them out. 